Now it's six. New video of an airplane flying over Jacksonville Sheriff's Office that features a hateful banner aimed at Sheriff T.K. Waters. In response to this banner, the sheriff released this statement. It says today's banner is a clear reminder that ignorance and hate will always breed more ignorance and hate. Jacksonville is a great city full of good people who care about one another. Let's focus on putting that on the world stage. This banner comes more than 24 hours after the sheriff criticized Mayor Donna Deegan for comments she made during an interview on a London radio show. Now, Mayor Deegan compared former President Donald Trump's immigration policy to concentration camps. Put people in what would, would um, really amount to a concentration camp type situation to, to, to round them out of the country doesn't seem to me to be a very American thing to do. And tonight, the Trump campaign is calling on Mayor Donna Deegan to resign following those comments. News for Jack's anchor Ashley Harding here in studio. I know what's the mayor saying about uh, these calls to resign? Well, Kent, I actually reached out to her office. She was not able to speak because she is still traveling. Her staff has not released any statements on the call for her to step down. But today, I did speak to local leaders on both sides of the political spectrum. You know, some condemned her. Others are coming to her support. Mayor Donna Deegan is still overseas, but here at home she faces more backlash for comments she made across the pond. Those comments now eliciting this response from the former president's national press secretary, Caroline Levitt. It says in part, this is the same type of dangerous rhetoric that led to two assassination attempts on President Trump's life and has divided our country. This no-name mayor should resign in disgrace over this egregious comment. I talked with Representative Dean Black, who chairs Duval County's legislative delegation. There was a comment in there from a Trump spokesperson actually calling on her to step down. Do you support that? Our initial comment was that she should apologize. But instead of apologizing, she doubled down and she is defending this. And this incendiary rhetoric really has to stop. Is she, if she's not going to apologize, if she's going to double down on this, yeah, she should apologize. She should resign for the good of the city. The mayor's office has not issued any statements today, but during the London Times interview, the host pressed her further on her use of the term concentration camp. I mean, the use of the, of the term concentration camp is loaded. You consider that's completely justified. Well, she then said, "What would we call them if you're rounding people up and putting them in camps? What what would we call those? I, con it's a concentration of people that are in a camp. Uh, I'm not suggesting." anything beyond that but I but I just think I think it seems rather inhumane former President Trump's immigration policy is not inhumane I'll tell you what's inhumane inhumane is allowing illegal immigrants to flood across our border criminals who kill American citizens like Lake and Riley who take over apartment complexes and force the population of those communities to live in terror that's inhumane. I, I frankly think a lot of the criticism that we're seeing is disingenuous. I think many people understand where Mayor Deegan's heart was. I also talked with Duval County Democratic Chairman Daniel Henry, who is now speaking in the mayor's defense. He points to the broken immigration system and the collapse of Congress's most recent bipartisan immigration bill. We had a true opportunity for us to be able to deal with our broken immigration system, to prevent people like the murderer. That, that killed Lincoln Riley from being able to enter in this country. Something that was supported both by Democratic and Republican senators who were negotiated by some of the most conservative senators in the entire Senate. Um, but President Trump uh, decided that he didn't want to deal with the issue. He wanted the issue for himself. And that attempt to really find common ground failed. Now, News for Jax did reach out to Jewish groups today for comment in response to all this, but they opted not to because of the holiday today. Kent. Thank you, Ashley. Well, many of our News for Jax insiders are weighing in on this topic regarding Mayor Deegan's comments. Some are supporting the mayor. Uh, Victoria Lamb wrote, I totally agree with what Mayor Deegan was trying to say. And this insider, Randall, added nothing but truth coming from the mayor. Others disagree. A swimmer wrote, a poor choice of rhetoric, a different time, different place, different moment in history. And Ben wrote, what a bizarre way to describe enforcement of our laws. And we want to hear from you. Share how the mayor's comments made you feel by leaving a comment inside this story on our website, newsforjax.com.